Hi, I'm Marty Barola and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Mike. Mike asks, what are some critical concepts that a Microsoft.NET developer needs to know to write iOS applications? First, if you're not already familiar with the MVC pattern of software development, you'll want to brush up on this subject. iOS applications are built around this pattern and understanding this is critical. Next, you'll have to learn a new language. The good news is that Apple recently released a language called Swift. Swift is much cleaner than its predecessor, Objective-C. Both Swift and Objective-C are object-oriented languages, which means you'll be able to structure your code in a familiar manner. There's a new feature in Xcode called Playgrounds, which allows developers to quickly experiment with Swift outside of the main project. The delegation pattern used in iOS applications is probably the biggest hurdle that you'll have to overcome. Even though you are familiar with delegates in .NET, delegates in Xcode are used slightly differently. For example, in Xcode, delegate methods are used for populating tables, getting latitude and longitude, and even changing the appearance of a table. Coming from .NET, you might think some of these should be properties, but in iOS applications, these things are treated as delegates. Delegates are used heavily throughout the iOS framework, so I suggest you get used to them right away. Also, memory management is another thing that you'll have to be aware of when creating iOS applications. With .NET, the garbage collection process takes care of most memory-related issues for you, but this is not the case with iOS applications. In iOS, automatic reference counting, more commonly known as ARC, is similar to .NET garbage collection. However, there are still cases where a developer can create a memory leak, and it's up to the developer to fix it. There's a tool called Instruments that allows developers to profile their applications and spot memory leaks. Coming from .NET, the learning curve with Xcode will be steep. The good news is that both Visual Studio and Xcode share many concepts, such as Git integration, unit tests, code snippets, and autocomplete. After a while, the planets will align, and it will make sense. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.